All right, so now <clears throat> we're going to talk about image planes and how to import them. So I'm going to go to my phone view here and I'm click on view. I'm going to go to image plane. I'm going to import image. All right, so now I just have to find my front view that I have. Um, a good practice, for example, um, I, since I made a car, the first thing I did was I went online and I found some blueprints. Um, blueprints are a great way to get the images that you need, and they've already been drawn out in a very simplified version for you. So you can see I got my front view, my side view, and my top view, and I even got a back view. Um, that came in real handy. So I'm just going to bring in the front view here. And click on open so now that it pops up you know what do we do with it now so we edit we edit our image planes by um, going to the attribute editor and so far we've been working with the channel box which is this small skinny menu over here now if we click on this tab here for attribute editor or if you can't see a tab um, you can always click on this top right button it toggles back and forth between the channel box and the attribute editor and then you should see your image plane come up. Now I could drag this bottom section down so I can make more room for myself. Um, if you do not see anything pop up, you just have to select your image plane. Now it may be difficult. Um, sometimes it's kind of difficult to select it. Um, so the easy way to select it is the camera that is showing it, which is our front view. If you just go to the view menu and do select camera, or the button right beneath you is select camera. Once you click that, you basically select that camera. And once you have the camera selected, then you can just go to image plane tab, which is right next to it. Okay, so the first option that I want to click is looking through camera. Once I do this, you see it disappears from my perspective view, but it stays in my front view. The reason I want this is because my perspective is where I want to see everything happening. But my front view is where I want to be just working with this image as a reference. So it's not needed anywhere else. All right. And the second thing I want to do is turn down my alpha gain. Once I do this, you'll see that my image has become more transparent. Okay. This is helpful because if I go ahead and create a cube, I can see my cube here in the perspective view. And I can also see it here in the front view. Because it's clear, now I can move my cube around and I can edit it. Alright? And I can still see everything because it's a lot clearer. If my alpha gain is up all the way to 1, you notice how that cube disappears. When I select it, I can tell it's there, but I mean if I have stuff if I just move the back in space a little bit, all of a sudden it disappears. So everything before this this break right here, before this this origin point axis is visible, everything after it is invisible. Um, so that can you know kind of give you undesired results. So for the sake of time, I'm just going to import my top view and my side view right quick. Okay, so. Now I've imported the top and the side view. Um, now you can see here, fortunately for me, they, are, they actually are very close to lining up already. Um, this is a very important thing. You want your images to line up together. The easiest way to see this is by still having them viewable in the perspective camera. So if I come back and I turn this front camera to all views, Okay, now I can see my my side and my top match up pretty nicely, but my front is way large. This is bad because if I'm using my top now to try to figure out where this headlight is, and I match it up here, and then I come to the side and I match it up here, then I come to the front, all of a sudden it's way out here. It's not going to match up. So how do I how do I shrink this thing down to size? Well, I have my front view selected. Okay, I'm just going to come down. Um, you're going to go down. I'm going to close these tabs out. The first section is image plane and attributes. We're going to um, not worry about that. But the next section is placement. We're not even going to worry about placement. We're just going to worry about the third one, which is placement extras. Okay, and all we're looking at is these bottom three options down here. <coughs> 
this is basically all we need. So the width and the height is how we can control the size of this thing. Now, unfortunately, there's no way to edit image planes visually. It's all numerically. So it's kind of like a trial and error type thing. So this is 30. I'm just going to type in, let's see, 10 by 10. Um, all right, so see it's probably a little bit too small. Let me try something like 15 by 15. Okay, that's probably in the ballpark. But we need to drop it down now. So how do we move it now? Um, to move it, it's the center. So these three boxes are basically X, Y, and Z. And this is where the compass comes in handy a lot. Now this this this, this um, axis here, I'm just going to... If you press the space bar over your window, it's going to maximize that window. Pressing the space bar again will go back to the four of you. Okay, so... This window lets me know that if I want to move this object down, my Y... The axis is always going to be pointing in the positive direction for the corresponding axes. So I can know that positive Z is moving to the left of my screen. Positive X is moving right now to the right of my screen. Positive Y is moving to the top of my screen. So if I want to move this down, I have to move it negative Y. So this first box is X. The second box is Y. So I'm just going to type in negative, I don't know, 2. Alright, so we can see it's starting to match up. I mean, it's actually very, very close. Um, it's actually very close. So, <laughs> you know, fortunately for me, um, in this example, it didn't actually take very long. But this process may take a little, a little while. But once everything is matched up, then you're basically good to go. And then from here, all you have to do, open up these sections right back, um, go back to my four view. Now I'm just going to turn everything off in the perspective. Click on my select camera for my side view. And I'll do looking through camera. Same thing for my top view. And so now, as I create objects, I can use all three of these views to help me line it up. So I can just work on the wheel, for example, match it up here perfectly, and then move it into place on the front side. And then I'm probably can use the top side to I can kind of see it a little bit over here. So you can see working with this, just working with um, each piece, pe you know, working piece by piece, you can make something very complicated. All right, and image plans can you know image plans can help you get there.